Hello beautiful Maze Explorer, today I want to see <laughs> who has a crush on you, so welcome or welcome back if you're a part of the tribe. We're about to see what are the what your crush is seeing you, their feelings and some actions or outcome of the situation. So I want to start by showing you the mazes as usual. I've already picked the three cards, I mean I've been shuffled them so I'm not quite selecting them you know by the way i want to start straight on if you're eager as i am so this is for maze number one and this is joy if you're interested in number it is 26 then we have heart healing so it is number five for maze and pile number two and then we have prosperity number 32 if you're picking this third maze and pile, okay? So thank you for all the support and love. I will be shuffling by doing um, some kind of changes around. I mean, I'm not always using the same uh, team, you know, theme. So feel free to see the timestamps in the description box and find your peaceful corner where to watch and to listen because I want you to be very relaxed and be very able to see the things you need to see and to enjoy also the thread of the mazes. So enjoy the adventure and I will see you in the mazes. Bye. Hello pile and maze number one, how are you today? This is the card of joy. So I'm feeling that your person, if you pick this card, uh, regarding the person, I don't know if you have a person, a specific person in mind or it is a secret admirer. Uh, I don't know if it is from work or just a friend of yours, maybe, you know, or just a person that you're just been um, meeting. But I'm feeling that joy is the things that they, that arouse them, you know, that arouse their person. So I want to see some other cards from the intuition in order to see the mood of their feelings, of their thinking, you know, about you. So I want to we'll pick maybe four, I don't know. I will see because I want to kind of, you know, um, following the energies for today very purely. So I think that every maze will be very different from one another. I will pick those two to start with. I will also pick one of those beautiful Celtics. They are, I mean, some of them, you see, the borders are not precise. I'm afraid to use them because of that. You know, I want one card for you. This one. And then I want to set the other energies with more masculine energies from the dragons, you know. We have resilience, finding your limits. Okay, I will accept that. We also have blessed sight, so you, wow. We also have a spiral, I will put it in here because it's more related to funding your limits. And the death card, wow. So no, it was correct, it was correct, okay. So we'll use it like this. Okay, so for the moment, what I'm able to see in here is that you are in some kind of karmic connection with this person. And my dear pile number one, I'm, I'm not sure if this is a karmic in a negative way or in a, is going to end, but we will see by the tarot. But I'm feeling also with the death card that some changes are coming. So it's like you cutting out something. So they see you as someone who is very, the energy is of changes, you know, so maybe you shock them in some kind of way. Um, that's what I'm picking with this beautiful death card, but it's for the best. You see the flowers, very Mexican vibe in here. That's why I love it. And I also feel that you push them to the limits and that's why they find you very attractive because this joy card for me is like the sun as well and the strife card, so something in between. And is also bringing, yes, confidence, self-esteem, uh, joy to all the people around you, like the sun card, but also is like you are pushing them in some kind of way, maybe with this karmic cycle around uh, this, those energies, to find their resilience, 
in order to embrace their limits and to move them maybe just a little bit so it's like a is not a battle <laughs> it's not a battlefield battlefield but i'm feeling that when they see you i mean it's like you are a blessed side you have a blessed side for yourself but they also putting in this connection the energy of when they see you you're very special to them you're like a divine angelic presence for them also for the eyes so i'm feeling that you have some kind of energies and kind of beauty that and they are very intrigued by you you know this is what i pick i want to see some cards this is what, what they like about you we have the ace of pentacles wow we have the nine of pentacles very stable energies we have wow passion as well the king of wands i hope you see the cards and we also have the two of cups so this is how they see you but we also have some kind of feelings in here and we also have the five of pentacles so let me put the card in a proper way in order to see them the both of us you know so i'm feeling like this person at the back of the deck by the way there is a pentacle again the knight of pentacles so it, it's like stability for me they want to uh come towards you they see you as someone very juicy and also very um able to commit so you're bringing these stable energies around you where you are also very se sexy for them as there is the king of wands you know and so you have all of kind of seeds unless the excluded from the swords but this is very nice i feel a very nice vibe the only thing is that they are excluded or you excluded them that's what they see regarding you so maybe this is not a refusal but maybe you do not see them maybe you do not include them in some kind of invitation meetings i don't know if we are speaking about friendship so it is a group or maybe a colleague meeting such as lunches and dinners you know something like that and i'm feeling that you are bringing them some kind of stability and commitment by the way so i'm feeling that what they like about you is, is that you're very fulfilled within your lovely heart of yours your passions again your uh emotional side so you're very stable and you they see you that you are very able to offer some cups such as the two of cups so it means that for some of you, they see you as very abundant, very equal in the kind of relationships you are bringing out at work, also in 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 your life, you know. And I also see they they are seeing you as the king of one, so very stable energies, very ambitious, by the way. But because you bring joy, there is this fire element within you. So you're very decided, you're very of actions, you want to conquer your objectives and the King of Wands really is really able to uh, know what he wants, you know. So they see you as very fierce, very determined, very of action and also they see you, you are okay with yourself because this is the nine of pentacles so it's like a beautiful garden in here where everything is stable but you want to stay in some sort of single situation so but and also they see you as someone who is very able to bring stability and commitment within your actions within your thoughts and within your objectives and abundance with the two of cups and also in here with the knight of pentacles so very bringing communication of stability also is related with the finances so they see you also very stable very driven in your situation and they, you kind of shock them with this death card because you're really able, I feel, they see you as someone who is very able to cut out the things that you don't want and you are defining yourself with resilience. So you're really able to adapt yourself to situations. That's what they see and they feel. They're feeling like you're very joyful and very beautiful at the eyes. I want to see 
their feelings right now. I want to see their feelings. I want to see their feelings. From the emotional side, okay. Okay. One last card. I need only one card now. About their feelings towards you. At the back of the deck, yes, they see you as very committed energy because we have the six of pentacles. So, but those are the feelings for they have that your person has regarding you. So this is like they want to offer you something very interesting in here. We have the star, very beautiful. They trust you. They want to communicate. Wow, they see you as very sexy. They're coming toward you. Wow, this is so beautiful. Strength card. And in the end, we have the king of swords. So I'm feeling like I see some actions in here. So ace of wands is like, is not always a potential. It can be also a very pragmatic action. So they are coming towards you where, regarding their feelings. I do not see many cups, but I'm feeling that I'm feeling like the best part of your interactions could be communication, such as this eight of wands. And also they are proposing you some kind of passionate connection actions to hang out. So something very pragmatic, maybe a date. So I don't know if you refuse them or not. But by the way, they are trusting you because this is a card for trust. So they are on a crush. They have this kind of crush regarding you. I do not see proper love for the moment, but I see that with their feelings, they are very fiery. They are on fire. They are passionate about you. They see you as very hot, as very sexy, as very seductive to them you know you seduce them a lot and i can see that the things they are seductive for them are two things that are the mindset so maybe you are a good speaker with this beautiful king uh, sorry knight this is the knight of swords so they're feeling that you are flirtilicious so in the in the mental field so that's why they're very attracted to you and this is like communication, exchange. You can be also be very blunt sometimes and litigational, you know. You can make messes, you know, a mess with your words. So that's why you're very blunt and harsh sometimes. But you can defend yourself. That's the best part I like also about you. And I'm feeling that they see you as someone who is very courage, courageous, very brave, very balanced between your strength and your diplomacy so you're very kind because you're able to see and to tame the beast but this is also an emotional card so it's speaking about emotions so they have some kind of emotional uh side of them that you arouse that you move towards you okay and they really trust you and also with this beautiful energy i feel in like they joy, they want to bring you and to share with you that you are bringing to them. They want to bring you back as well because we have the six of pentacles. So equal balancing uh, love. Okay, this is what, I'm, what I see. I want to see right now the outcome or maybe the actions. I don't know, we'll see. But there is an, uh, something like already an action in here. We have the six of swords. We have the three of swords. How oh, many swords that are coming? This was very undecided, but this is like the six of um, cups. So they're not very convinced. I mean, we have actions instead of... They're, those are very deceiving for me. So maybe they see you as someone too much for them, too stable, too committed, too strong sometimes. So they could be very intimidated. We also have the four of swords in here and we also have the five of swords in here wow there i do not see many actions by the way except for flirting at the back of the deck we have the word yes they they see some kind of i'm feeling like and then we have the four of uh wands okay such as commit committed energies and i'm also picking like with this 
and um, card for a new beginning as well is like they have this kind of wish they are maybe bringing this very heavy and karmic energies uh, towards you because they want to end a cycle so they are very in a heavy position right now i'm not saying in a um, doomy place but it can be they are ending some kind of relationship situations even with the self so your person is wants to come towards you but right now i'm feeling like they have many situations going on in their mind they are conflicted by the way because we have this this five of swords you see this is like abandoning the battlefield but they have been battling till now you know so i i see many swords i see many swords and swords are not for actions are for totes hair so it is in the mindset the only card the positive card i see in here is the six of cups that for me is is a sort of be valent card i mean as the main cards <laughs> as the majority of the other cards but i see that they want to flirt with you this could be immature love or it could be also so very flirtalicious. They want to flirt with you. So maybe I'm feeling like they didn't express much of their feelings. Even though they have some kind of actions in mind, they are kind of blocked in here for, for the moment. Also because we have this four of swords that is resting. So you see they are sleeping. So they are thinking. So they are not taking action for the moment. So the outcome is stillness. And I'm feeling like they they are changing with this death card. They are deciding maybe they are over, overthinking about things. But I'm feeling that they want to flirt and offer something, but there is not water in the cups. So it's not very stable for the moment. The, the connection, the, their willpower to manifest with actions. And I'm also feeling they are very conflicted, but this could also be conflict. Um, regarding you so against you or versus you you know so they are attracted to you they see you as very beautiful energy in their life but i feel like they do not know you very well and that's why they could be intimidated so they may come a step back you know also because i see that they are they have many burden in here so they are in a sad condition for the moment or oh, maybe this is a three-party situation where they are still healing you know or maybe they are not still in the position of healing because i do not see healing in here i see karmic cycles you know so maybe they are just ended uh, some kind of relationships and they're still they want to offer you the heart but there are three swords there are three deep wounds inside of them for the moment so they're not really able to take actions toward you and so also they are bringing this burden this is the six of swords so they are moving in some kind of way they are moving away but they are bringing two swords on on their back you know there is some sadness in here so i do not see many actions i would like to see one card from this one to see the energies the final energies this is the angled man at the back of the deck we have the hermit so i'm feeling like they are keeping some space for themselves and even though they see you as someone who is very bringing beautiful energies they are presenting themselves as the hermit so they are making some kind of cleaning and knowing better themselves before coming to offer you something but they sounds very attractive i also feel like they see you they, it could be also some kind of a colleague a boss i don't know because in here we have many pentacles so it could be also career and workplace related but the final card is saying to me that they are not making action so it's a suspension of activities as they are willing to change the perspective on the situation so they are waiting for some best moment for them to come towards you i want to pick last two cards in here just to understand better how they see you what can you bring to them 
because I'm feeling like they are thinking about you because also the swords are totes. So they are kind of, they see you as someone who is very, this is the jester. This is like a jolly, it's like also a joker. So you make pun of words, you're able to play. So that's why you're so joyful to them. I want to see, no, this is one. I want to see how they see you from this memory. Wow, too many, too many. I'm trying to be delicate, but they jump off, you know. They jump off. In here, they see you like the, the boss of a situation. And they also see you like this kitty. Wow, very beautiful. So you see the actions you're making, you're not seems to be, you are intriguing them. You're very, also very masculine energy I pick. So they see you as the badass of the situation, you know? And I also feel like they see you the other side of tenderness, diplomacy, kindness. You're like a kitty that is drinking milk. Very beautiful, very nurturing one. So many energies in here. I want to see some kind of advice for you, but remember that they are not in an active position right now, okay? So they are taking their time to evaluate the situation, even though they are very attracted to you and they see you as very prolific for a relationship. I want to see one lunar card for you as an advice for yourself. No matter how this connection is going to end, wow. This is for you. I shine my light outwards for all to see. And that's what I like about you. I'm feeling like, because you shine, you bring light to them. You, you remember the blessed side. You remember the joy. And maybe you're also helping them with this death card to make the some sort of introspection with the lantern. So you bring some kind of inspiration and light to, in their words, in this connection. So I'm feeling this is a very complete situation, but they have to face some sort of heavy energies right now. That's why they're not moving or they are making it very super slow, okay? So this is everything for the moment. I hope you enjoyed. Just take what is resonating with you, my dear explorer and pile number one. So uh, it was a pleasure to make this reading for you. If you enjoyed, you can also exchange some energies with me. And I wish you the best with this connection. And I hope to see you the next time. Bye. Hello, beautiful explorer and maze number two. This is the card you pick. I want to show it to you. This is number five, heart healing. So I'm feeling like this person is seeing you as very balancing your energies and is very attracted by two things your feminine side because you see very flowery uh flourish situation you know we have this very pinkish fuja flowers so very intense as you're very strong personality i'm picking or you are regaining some energies and also green so this is the masculine side of yours but also they see you the abundance of feelings such as water for yourself, that is self-esteem, self-abundance, very centered, being harmonious, that's what they like about you. Even though you're still healing, there is some kind of very specific energies around you that they like of you, you know? And I want to see some intuitions card to pick the situation. Well, you see, again, again, yes, like that. Again, we have this super greenish yes why not something is boiling in here you know they see you moving on fire i want to see the masculine energies by the way for you i mean for them regarding to your crush and then i want to see the feminine uh energies they are bringing in this connection wow too many maybe i will pick the two of them you see they see you as very nurturing. I will put it in here. We have, again, feminine and masculine colors. You know, you see, this is understanding, looking at both sides. You see how this beautiful figure is, the, the character, you know. 
understanding you're able to understand people or that this is also the energy they are bringing towards you and this is tranquility harmonious in action wow they must be very attracted to you you know that's what i'm thinking and then i want to see the earth and wisdom so they see you as very powerful they see you as very complete as a personality and that's what they like yes again the healing card they see you in this process they are watching you or it may be also that they are bringing those kind of energies in so they are healing but this is beautiful because they are also bringing the same energy very connected in the timing and in the energies the vibe that you spread you know you give off so in here i want to see how they see you what they like about you more precisely with using the tarots then we are going to see their feelings and if there are some kind of actions we have the ace of swords we have the page of wands we have the tower. Wow, very heavy energy is coming in. I want the last card and then I will put them on the deck. So they are, they want to come towards you. This is a very fiery situation, by the way, because we have the wands. So they see you. Wow, the high priestess. Yes, for this much healing you're making and them too, they are kind of intimidated but you see how they're coming towards you with the two of cups and the back of wow very beautiful very beautiful energies let me put them in order in order to to let you see the cards and i mean for both of us i hope you see them by the way i don't know because those three cards as just create some sort of it's a big situation you know it's very nurturing by the way so i'm feeling like they see you as the high priestess and for me they see you like a psychic so you're very connected with your inner energies and that's why they see you that you are healing so in in such a powerful way and you are able to give this vibe of healing of self-love self-acceptance and this is so so strong and powerful believe me so people are attracted when you are balancing your things even though you're not doing anything they are drawn to you that's what i'm feeling and this is very very deep very deep feelings they see you as a very deep personality able to see able to spot the lies very connected with your inner knowledge also very able to give back to others to share the things you have inside of yourself but this is like something like a higher level for them so if they're bringing this kind of uh, energies i'm feeling that they see you very feminine very delicate with this pinkish situation with this tranquility of yours and understanding as well and that's what they're bringing too so you're very connected the two of you and i can see that also in the two of cups but they are also seeing that something is changing so you are on fire in the meaning that you're not bringing fire you're bringing a change in the in the state of water because it was um liquid and right now it's becoming steamy so i'm also feeling like something of sexiness hotness around you yes also because it's confirmed by the card that we are seeing that is coming toward you is seeing you as someone who is very able to communicate very blunt with words Maybe you're able to defend yourself because also this is the air um, and toads field. So you're very able to defend yourself, to speak clear, to be very straightforwarded. So you're bringing this kind of bluntness. It's very decided also with this uh, wands, this page. I mean, it's something like an offer. They see you as someone who is very young or some kind of way. So you are maybe showing more the feminine side sometimes that is more delicate and more lunar you know in some very connected with the moon and also they see you as hot so the ones are for ambitious people for uh, this person your person is seeing you as someone who is really able to take actions when needed 
and also to be very sweet because we also have the two of cups that is something like a good offer uh equal love that you show in your connections um, on work on the workplace also with your friendships and also with the people that you love so you're very equal equal that's what they like about you and i'm also seeing that with this tower you are i'm feeling like the illusion word is something very related because in here they see you as able to destroy the illusions but they are having some kind of illusions around you they are dreaming of you but they are very undecided because you see there are many options in here so this here is very desirable and lovable but they i don't see a love a specific love card so i'm eager to see their feelings and outcome and they see you that you're taking your responsibility and right here you are as you are healing you know as you're healing and they are too they are able to see that you are just cutting out some burden burdens in your life you are refusing some kind of karmic heavy situations in here that's what i'm picking and they are very fantasizing on you i want to see another row this is for their feelings wow four of wands a very beautiful beginning this is like marriage and committed energy wow this is like the six of this is not like this is the six of pentacles we also have many many cards many cards very beautiful by the way very feminine in here very feminine the high priestess and the empress very nurturing energy and this is a very beautiful omen i will take it at the back of the deck wow you see i do not see the lovers but i see many signs that they do want to stay with you that their feelings are very stable this is like the yes card so they are bringing this kind of energy in their feelings that they want to offer you vibrant energies of sharing of caring of nurturing you know you the both of you so the couple maybe yes i'm feeling like also they see you their feelings for you are very stable are very uh, they're speaking we are speaking about commitment so i don't know if you're already dating this person i feel like you know this person you know um the person we are speaking about yes i'm feeling i get the, this vibe so but feel free to take only what is resonating but you already met this person i'm feeling like because they know you or at least they recognize your kind of energetic field and that's why they see you as very nurturing as very stable this is for finance also this is stability the scale is for equality for reciprocity as well they want to um build something with you while you are rebuilding yourself you know in this beautiful healing energy and they want to commit this is a marriage this is a celebration i see in the middle they are not undecided but they are suspended their feelings for a while because i do not see cups but i i'm feeling like they see you as the empress so very powerful connected with the high priest that they can be some kind of intimidated by you because you're very high level energies i i feel if you pick this card and also with the stars very good omen i mean yes you are transforming and this transformation is bringing you luck trust they trust you because we have the star they trust you they want to follow you they want to stay around you you know this is trust very beautiful they are renewing some kind of energies regarding you and towards you those two cards the central cards i mean are, they are speaking about the hanged man and the two of pentacles it could be work related i feel also because we have pentacles but not too many many but i'm feeling like they are not indecided but they have suspended they they their feelings because i'm feeling like they want to be cautious regarding you they want to follow your intuitions so maybe there are some things that are stopping them to move but we are we will see later and they are jiggling between two situations. So I don't think it is a three-party situation, but they have situations, events on their way in order to balance. This is a balance card. They are balancing some kind of um, emotions, thoughts, actions towards you. 
and you have the yes card you have the sun clarity transparent they are very being pragmatical this is for the best card very in the three dimension love you know they are not just fantasizing they they have something deeper inside regarding their feelings i want to see their actions or the possible outcome i don't know if you already have a person in mind i'm feeling like that because i don't think this person is uh because we have clarity so i don't feel that they are um this is a secret love i'm feeling like this person already has maybe shown you something you know this one we have the wow you could be a power couple wow very introspection very structure they want to give you structure wow <laughs> we also have the king of swords yes they they want to move towards you we also have fight litigation or that they want to fight i mean some obstacles you know to move towards you and we also have this card again the ten of pentacles so satisfaction satisfaction i feel that with the other five of sword at the back of the deck they want to um, they have some sort of conflict or it could be against you because you you have very strong and similar energies that i see in here and so there are very precise movements but for the moment, I'm feeling like they are just planning because these two cards are, are speaking of me, of stability, commitment. This is like marriage material for you and they sing you the same of you. You see, you are the high priestess, they, they are the hierophants such as the Pope. So I'm feeling like you're very super connected on the same page, on the same vibe. And that's what they like about you. But sometimes it could give you conflicts or just thoughts. Not because they are undecided, but because I'm feeling like in order to reach this stability they desire, because they are coming to offer you, I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is like Taurus. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever been in a relationship with a Taurus, uh, but they are very practical energy to family related, very concrete personality, very stable energy is coming towards you. They are making some kind of efforts in order to show you and to build with you. And I'm also picking like these two cards and this one as well is of litigation. So there are some conflicts, maybe that they, they, they are uh, inside of them. They are worrying them a little bit. That's why they are really slow. And let me say that all the pentacles are very slow energies. So earth movements, earth signs. So they're very slow to come towards you, but it's very good. Slow, 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 slow. Okay, they're moving very slowly, very cautious regarding to you. They want to follow your int their, their intuition, your person, you know. And also they are at the end of a cycle. So this is for a celebration again, for a new beginning, for new offers. So they want to start something very concrete, very stable with you. That's what I see. Yes. I want to add just one last uh, final arcana, major arcana to summarize the energies of the outcome or their actions. Wow, this one. Even though we have, you see, the death card and temperance, so very re renovating energies, cutting out something at the back of the deck. Again, the Hierophant. So those are signs for me. We have the moon. Yes, okay. Okay. So they have some thoughts on their mind. This is very connected with the High Priestess and the Hierophant as well. So very deep connection, very deep feelings and secrets, maybe. So I'm feeling like this person is coming and moving towards you very slowly, very precisely, understanding your position, putting tranquility. So very beautiful flow, I see. You are going with the flow with this person. But I'm feeling like also there is the moon sometimes. So it's kind of moody secrets. So they do not express properly all their feelings because maybe they are not still ready to change the perspective on the situation and embrace you as the princess priestess and as the empress so very high level of connection wow very vibrant 
I want to see just to play a little bit with you. I don't know. I'm picking like this one. Wow, the see you is elegant. Again, the colors, you see the colors, quite the same color. This is like, uh, I don't know, it's like teal. Is some greenish bluish is in between, and so it's masculine. And we have this here, it's very elegant, by the way. And they also want to bring you out, so it's food, yes, it's for food. This one, yeah, they want concrete things, they want to share. Uh, this is a very beautiful panda, very playful. They see you as a panda, very funny, by the way, as well. Very relaxed with food, going on trips. This very elegant, you see how fashionable you can be. And I want to see the last card for how the energies that you're bringing to them and what they see in you. If you're curious, my dear pile number two. <laughs> I want this one. Wow. They see you again, green and pinkish situation. Very related with nature. So they see you as a, some sort of princess. You are the empress. You are the queen. You are, you have, I mean, you are that much. You're bringing so much beautiful energies around them. So, wow. I want a final advice for you, my dear explorer. I hope that something resonates. Just take what is resonating and leave the rest out, you know. This is just a general reading. So, this one. Very beautiful. Let me move this. You see how beautiful this card is. Moon. <laughs> I love it. I know myself deeply, yes, very deeply, and find myself worthy. This is the summary of the High Priestess plus the Empress that is very prolific, very fertile. They see you also as a mother of their child, maybe. Wow. They really want to understand you, to court you very slowly. They see you as a funny personality, very... They want to share food. This is the best. In many cultures, we have the sharing of food, and this is so beautiful. It's so... I mean, I mean, I, I love to have some kind of dishes in the middle of the table and to, you know, pick what I need. Also to share the dish, the plate with other people that I love. This is so beautiful and so powerful. While the both of you are bringing healing. I give you the number. This is 5 and this is 24. Very powerful. Very, very mixed energies. But very determined. Very solid. So thank you for staying here. This is all for today. My dear pile and explorer number 2. I hope you enjoyed just taking, just feel free to take only what is resonating. Things are changing. You are on fire and there are many transformations within your energies. But for the best, you see the star, very trustworthy situation, solid ones. So also, even though there are some kind of heavy energies, you know yourself deeply and you are worth it. And this person is seeing you as this beautiful creature and soul as you are. So... I hope that you find what you needed to hear and see. If you want to exchange some energies, you know the way. And I hope to see you very soon. I wish you the best of luck with this connection. Bye. Hello, beautiful explorer. This is the maze you picked. And if you wanted the thread, well, I show you the card Prosperity. How is deep? No number 32. I hope you are fine, by the way. And this is very beautiful for me. This person, if you pick this card, you are in a situation of prosperity. I don't know if you already have someone specific in mind, but I feel so. And they see you as very prosperous. So very fertile, very outwards, you know, you're going outwards. You're very abundant for them. And that's why they're very attracted and they have you in mind. I want to see with the intuition cards. Wow, two of them coming out already. Wow, this is very specific, I feel. This is not for everyone, so be sure that this is your reading. We have a beautiful carpet, uh, oriental, so very, I love the vibe. I love the vibe, really, I love this vibe. And we also have the rock into the stone, this is like Stone Age vibe for me, into magical forest, very solid, something very dreamy and very solid, by the way, as well.
So let me see the energies of the earth wisdom, so feminine energy. So your person could be very connected with creativity, some projects maybe you can have in common. I don't know if you already have some specific person on your mind. Could also be, they could dream about you. So your person may be dreaming a lot of you. What to, I will accept them. So by the way, they are in charge. Wow. <laughs> Divine light and awareness, how powerful. How po That's what they are bringing towards you or they see in you. Could be both because, you know, when you are uh, reading some energies from couples or connections, it could be some energy are mixed and mirrored. So you're bringing awareness to them. How deep is this moon? It's very darkish in here. I see many moons and very deep. So that's why, because you are very aware or they are too. And also divine light, very contrasting, by the way, as well. And that's what I'm feeling like. I mean, you're solid, but you are on a carpet and you want to travel on a carpet. So very polarizing energies in here. I want to see the last card they bring you, the last energies they want to bring to you in this connection. Of this person, my dear explorer. Okay. Wow, <laughs> beautiful. I'm feeling like this reading is special and very specific because we're speaking about prosperity. So I'm feeling like the two of you are very aware of each other and of the self first. You're very connected with the uh, childish part of yours, such as dreaming, such as having some big dreams in life and in career as well. And also you're very solid and you, you see miracle making a difference for yourself and others i mean both ways if this person is bringing you those kind of energies or it's you that bring them inspire them those kind of feelings and insights i mean how beautiful this is number five by the way i don't know if you're fond of numbers but I'm, oh i keep on telling i i cannot i mean i love numbers but uh, i'm not really keen on them I have some problems with numbers. That's why I'm more humanistic, um, more artistical, you know, more psychic maybe. Yeah, I don't know about you. I feel like you, you could be too because I'm not seeing some uh, engineering gears, uh, gears, you know. We have beautiful, we have the nine of cups. This is how they, uh, what they like about you, what they see about you. Then we have other two rows with the tarots, you know, confirming the energies, maybe, or just showing other things we need to see, that you need to see in this thread. Okay. We have judgment. We have, oh, just, wow. You are very powerful for them, by the way. I hope you see the cards. The emperor, wow. Wow. Very masculine, very determined energy, very structured, by the way, very steamy as well. And we have the Page of Swords. So this year is someone who is very able to communicate, to be very blunt, very defensive with words. So you can handle all the kind of conversation. And we see also and here we have the Tree of Cups, a celebration, very beautiful. They see you as someone very stable within your energies because you know your worth. This is what I'm picking. And also that you are in this kind of energy that you are okay with yourself. This is like for single card. This is the nine of cups. Very emotional, very nurturing. You could offer, you have many options, but you are in the middle of the situation. And you see how you stand in this situation. You are okay. That's how they see you. You are super okay. Also, with these two major arcana, we can see in this thread, my beautiful pile number three, judgment is like an awakening. This is not an awakening. It's like, yes, it's like an awakening call. You are feeling like a higher calling of yourself. So you are in the end of some kind of journey where you already have done your considerations, you know. And right now you're having your reward. That is a very beautiful energy, very 
awareness speaking of awareness speaking of prosperity you see you know your way you know your stuff you have been under many situations and right now you are balanced you have very this beautiful this is like also a change of art so maybe there are some feelings of yours inside for yourself as well that are really changing and you are taking some kind of decisions that are bringing you rewards. Also, we have this nine. Um, I mean, before we are speaking about the emperor, let me tell you, they see you as very hot and steamy and very determined, very masculine energy that I feel in here because the emperor says it all, you know, it's a, it's on a throne made of stone. The, the emperor is someone who gained the throne. He didn't inherit it. And so is very on his ways, a ruler, a, gover a governor is able to set the rules, the laws to bring to into actions, his own ideas, very structured, very father figure. So they see as very masculine. I don't know if you, I mean, for me, energy is masculine and feminine doesn't correspond to sex, you know. So this is very, but with the king of wands, again, very fire, steamy situation, hotness, Flirtilicious, determined, ambitious. We are speaking about ambition, ambitious. You being ambitious, taking actions regarding your idea. It's just a little bit of selfish as the emperor, you know, because those cards are seeing you very structured, not very emotional, by the way, because you're very okay with your emotional side. And also with these nine of wands, it means that you are, this is like overthinking. So you're kind of protecting yourself. A little bit you're able to wander and they see you that you are guarded in some kind of way but this is also of strong um, actions strong pl planification you're planning something you're really able to have your mindset this is like war <laughs> by the way this is like you facing a battle okay because you want to gain your prosperity or you already have it and so you're very stable within your energies I want to see their feelings right now. They see you very, wow, determined, very masculine, masculine energies in here, very structured, committed, fatherish, you know, very fierce. We have the star, beautiful. They trust you. This is for the feelings. We have the seven. I told you it was coming out. The three of cups and the seven of wands. Yes, they, they trust you, you are very trustworthy, you are reliable, they are, have much to think about you. They also have the cups, we also have collaboration, that is the tree, wow, let me see the, the last card. I don't know if this is a three-party situation, because one is okay, two is, mm, three, <laughs> three trees uh, could be um, more than a sign, you know. Quite a certainty, even though in life, you know, there is no certainties, by the way. I want to see more. One last card, they're not coming out. I will pick them. Okay. We have the five of swords. And at the back of the deck, we have... Okay, so the energy that I'm picking, like... It's like they are making this kind of journey with these eight of cups, where they are kind of divided in their mind. They have to know better themselves before coming in their emotional fields so their feelings are of trust so they trust the situation they are positive on the situation but they know they have to make some kind of journey inside of them in order to gain clarity to see the guy's dance also because they are renewing some kind of feelings that were maybe deep inside of them because i do not see much clarity because this is for me are like desires and wish this is the wish for collaboration with you. So you are making something like a great team. So I'm feeling this could, this could be also related with the um, career. So maybe on the workplace, I don't know if this is a boss, a colleague, a collaborator, maybe a freelancer, a consultant, a teacher, um, I don't know, a pupil of a course. Maybe you are making courses because you have this dreamy situation of fertility and you're also very solid. So you can guide other people as well. You making the difference for other people and for this person too. Very aware of yourself, you know. And also the three 
cup of cups is representing a celebration so re reconciliation as well but could also mean three party situation so that's why i have this question mark in here and with the swords and this uh, i'm feeling like this person is kind of confused because we have the seven of wands that is challenges but they are staying positive so i don't know if you have many people that are courting you so that you uh, they this person is seeing like many people around you so they want to you know to have a battle to um, go into the field and and just conquer you but they are feeling like a little bit of shyness in here right now solitary place because they have to gather up themselves just a little bit and also with this five of swords is some sort of litigation it could be they want to fight or you have this because it's underneath the emperor so the emperor is very let me tell you is very fascinating to me but sometimes it's not very emotional so if you want to make making change the way of doing things or just the mindset on one singular thing you have to struggle a lot and you're not sure in the end the outcome will be okay because they're not moving much from their ideas. So I don't know if you are that person and your person is trying to convince you to make you change ideas or just perspective on something. This is like the actions or the outcome. We will see. I'm eager to see this one. Very shy. We have the page of wands. Yeah, very shy. They are moving, but they see you as very, as hot as hell, by the way. Very ruly personality. Something like bossy too. We have the death card as well. Very strong, very strong personality. They are moving. They are moving towards you. They are trying to flirt with you. Again, once. Wow, celebration. Wow, another celebration. They want you. They want to come forward. We have the Empress, by the way. So, wow. <laughs> I'm feeling like this person is very determined but shy on the, on the situation right now. And they see you as the Empress. They want to come forward you to, as the Empress because they are compensating. I feel you have... You are the emperor and them, this person is the empress, you see. You're balancing energy. So maybe the most emotional part of them, of, of the, the, the couple, of the connection, it's them. And you are kind of closed from the emotional field. That's what I pick. So, and also maybe you have many... Um, people who want you so they are very they want you by the way as well and they're trying to flirt with you but this is like immature love for the moment so they're flirtations you see that in the cups there are no water there is no water there are flowers so it's very unstable still to see but also could be balancing some kind of energies regarding this connection and the crush they want to come forward you with this beautiful where this is passion this is yes hot. they you're very hot they want to seduce you they want to celebrate they want to bring you on a date they want to drink a cup with you they want to be very on fire you set them on fire so they are moving towards you and also the, we have the king of pentacles so they bring many stable energies in these connections but very slow very slow because i see them very battling with i don't know if it's you your mindset your single position right now or it's other people or it could be also themselves but with this death card i also feel like they are very aware of themselves they are connected with you with this divine light creation fertility again they are coming towards you with this very fertile so with idea projects so i'm feeling like it could be also very career related even though we do not have many pentacles that's what i'm feeling like you have many projects together could be could be a partnership i don't know this is like a partnership balancing energy by the way also and with this death card they are changing something but before reaching you and make some precise move they want to and something they, they need to cut out situations feelings something that is not serving them anymore so this is like and also in here we have many abundance card prosperity card and the death card wow this is very unbalancing the energies but they 
they feel you they see you as very beautiful they see you as very beautiful i want final card from the arcana to suggest the energy the final energy of the outcome we have justice at the back of the deck we have the sun so yes they want clarity they wanted to bring uh, the sun into this connection with you on their crush on you maybe they want to properly uh, come towards you and say things because i don't know if they really say to you how much they like they, they like you or how they see you and what their, their feelings are but i can also feel that this is just a balancing situation for them this could be karmic situation as well so they are ending something it could be they need to cut out the things that they no, do not need anymore in themselves this could be also karmic natural laws coming your way and some wrong things that were, there are now under repair I want to see a final card. They are moving slowly, but they are. They have many progress in here. They want you. They want to court you. They will find their way soon. But this is going to be a long path, by the way, because we have the King of Pentacles also, you know, and the Death card. So I want to see how they see you as final. This could be also papers. So I don't know if you are in a collaboration work related on a project. So I don't know. Or maybe this is an ending of something. It could be also a divorce, but I don't know. This could be. But I have many signs of trust and collaboration. This is very deceiving, by the way, for me. How they see you. Wow, you are magical to them, you see. You're like a wizard. You put them you put under them under a spell. You put a spell on them because you're very, you know, aware you have this divine guidance and feel that you are very connected with them also for the projects, the dreamy words. So, and before when I was shuffling other cards, those came out on this card. So I will pick them and this is how they feel for you and how they see you. Very artistical taste. Also from the Empress, I, I told you, yes. This is something artistic. You see, this is a ballerina, this is a dancer, and we have the mu um, musician as well. Yes, very colorful, very alive, very determined, very of discipline. This is also about discipline. Yeah, very structured energies of yours, or at least they see you like that. My dear Pile Explorer, I want the last card as an advice for you. I will pick two this way because I don't know, but I'm feeling like this could be contrasting because I see new beginnings, I see movements, but flirting and, and trusting you and see you as some sort of emperor, you know, very super duper energies. But also on the other side, on the other side, I see justice and the death card. Mm. So this first, this one first, I'll let you see. This is like an advice. I accept that here now is exactly where I am and that is a place of profound learning. So this is an advice for you. So you're still learning something and maybe it's like the emperor to accept, to accept your feelings and that sometimes being very, to listen to your heart, to emotions and also to, um, be not always fixed in the same, stuck in the same ideas, you know, can bring you very good things, I feel. Because this is like a dilemma card as well, this justice. And this is the last advice for you, piece of advice. I have power, it is real, yes, for sure. So you are the one in charge. I'm feeling like you are the person of the two that can decide, can take a decision uh, on this situation because you are making the difference remember also you're very aware you're very creative prosperity wow stable yes stone and stone of the throne i think you are too much stubborn can i say that if you don't get offended like the emperor but we are speaking about the cards you know they see you as so so maybe you should just let go of something be more flirtilicious. You you need to see more in a light way, not heavy, not as heavy as a stone, you know. You could be more, go with the flow. You are so aware and prosperous, by the way, my beautiful explorer. That's what they like about you. 
very also this is a higher level of energies regarding career so maybe your incomes and finances also can be very different in this situation so you are leading you know so i hope that something resonates with you so feel free to take all the things you need and to leave out the, the other things that are not serving you so this is a just a general reading by the way i hope you enjoyed the thread in this beautiful maze for today i wish you the best of luck with this situation because you can decide you know you have the power and it is real the other person is not kind of waiting but is trying to come forward you so i don't know if you want to sign this, those kind of papers in one way or another i don't don't want to say divorce but could be could be even though the other person is still longing for you wanting you so you are in the single state of mind so it's really up to you and uh Thank you for staying with me and watching. If you want to exchange some energies, you know what to do. You have your ways. It's very free for me. And thank you again. I hope to see you in the next adventure. Bye.